Farun, this is Paul Prevaginsky. Uh, due to popular demand, um, I am going to replicate for you what I did on Monday's tutorial, uh, which was take your basic community profile data from the ABS and create some pivot tables, a tool which you can use to uh, identify differences in those basic community profiles, trends uh, between the two census years, and uh, look for differences between uh, Campbelltown's LGA and New South Wales and Australia. Um, I'm joined today by my son Abel. He will be helping out every now and then. Okay, let's go. Uh, first of all, just a reminder, the Australian Bureau of Statistics website, abs.gov.au, is uh, the place where you'll get the census data. Tab up here in the middle called Census. On the left, Data and Analysis community profiles Campbelltown LGA 2011 previous years press go now you'll see the basic community profile that's the one we'll be using today and over here your map of Campbelltown's local government area okay let's go First thing we do, we go to our Excel spreadsheets that we have downloaded, and this is my base, which I'll start with. Of course, I will have the year, the gender, the area, um, because we'll be comparing Campbelltown, New South Wales and Australia, the age ranges of those people, and the number of people in that group. Your other uh, spreadsheets that you've previously downloaded look like this. Campbelltown LGA, 2011. Campbelltown LGA 2006 Australia 2006 New South Wales 2006 Australia 2011 New South Wales 2011 so there's the, the, the six spreadsheets that I'll be taking data from what I'll be taking data from today in the beginning the Campbelltown data set so let me open that up Campbelltown 2011 I will go to the list of tables and we're going to select B01 selected persons characteristics by sex that will give me this table what I want to copy is those age ranges and the numbers of males and females I simply copy that I take it over to my empty spreadsheet I'll paste it in the age range and make sure that I note that this is 2011 these are males at the top we'll just let them call them male Campbelltown copy those down cut the second column paste them below so that we only have single columns of data and copy the values there. Note that these are females. Take the square, drag it down to copy them all down. Okay, so I was using Control C and Control V to copy and paste. Now if you would prefer simply right click, click, copy, and paste them below. Okay, so the next set I'm going to look for is 2006 for Campbelltown. So now I'll go to my 2006 Campbelltown sheet. Here it is Campbelltown Census 2006. I'll be going to their list of tables and list of topics. Looking for selected persons by characteristic of sex. This is B01. So I'll click on B01, it takes me to it. There we have the same set of age ranges, males and females data. I will copy that again, take it to my empty spreadsheet, and paste it in. Once again, I'll note these are the males. Take the box and drag it down. Note that these are 2006 and drag it down. I will 
copy the age ranges, paste the age ranges, I will cut the values for females, paste the values for the females. Okay, so as you can see, that is the first two sets done. I am from the Campbelltown LGA Basic Community Profile age range by sex. I am now going to go ahead and I am going to uh, copy uh, the same data sets from the New South Wales 2011 and 2006 census and the Australian 2006-2011 census. Uh, it only takes a couple of minutes but for the purposes of this exercise I'll make it go fast and we'll continue on after that. So we're, there we go, we're all done. We've copied in LGA data from 2006 and 2011 for Campbelltown, New South Wales and for Australia. So now to make the pivot table. First thing you'll need to do is Daddy. click on the top left hand corner. Hang on. That's an it's awesome monster truck. What you do then is after you've clicked in the top left hand corner, go to insert click on pivot table, you'll get up this uh, dialog box, it has already automatically selected your data range, 
it is automatically selected that you will start a new worksheet and click OK. So we're done here. Now to make the first pivot table. Now the report field is the first one here on the left. Drag first area, then gender into that box. The year you can then drag into column labels, which is the next across. The age you can drag into row labels. The number you can drag into values. And there you go. You have your pivot table, which you can look at for all areas. Click on the drop down box under area and you'll see Australia, Campbelltown, New South Wales there. Now in the tutorial I did a small formula so that you could find the percentage. That formula is equals open brackets, in this case cell C6 minus cell B6 close brackets divided by cell C6. That gives your percentage press the percentage button, add a couple of decimal points, drag that box Daddy, down. the truck says th this is off now. So if we just take uh, for this data set a look at the Campbelltown LGA, the population changes in Campbelltown from the 2006 census year 2011 census year via these age ranges. You can see, for example, that in 0 to 4 there was a 2.18% increase in the number of people in that age range. In the 55 to 64 years there was a 17.68% increase in that age range. And there was a total population increase of 1.98%. Now, of course, you can use the drop down buttons to compare those to Australia and to New South Wales now. Obviously, we can check to see if there is any difference between male and female. Drinks waiters here. Um, but because I like to do things that are a little easier, so I can check across the different pivot tables, I'm going to take a copy of this pivot table by taking the bottom right square, dragging it up, just making a copy, leaving a column, pressing paste, and leaving another column, pressing paste for the second time. Now that means I have two sets. I can change the second to New South Wales and I can change the third to Australia so that I can see all of these on one screen and make the comparisons directly. Now if you have a look, uh, let's just take a look at those 85 and over for a comparison. In the Campbelltown LGA, you can see that there is a 26.63% increase between the last two census years. In New South Wales, there's been a 20%, and in Australia, there has been a 19.82% increase. Now, what you can see here is basically that there is a greater growth in that age range for Campbelltown area. So, that's how you make a pivot table. This now, finally, it. excellent, thank you, buddy. If you were to do this for any other category, of course, when you are moving into your assignments, you may want to look at things such as country of birth or other data elements. Simply start from that template again, where we were in the data table, and change over age to country of birth. Insert the appropriate year, gender, area that you're looking at, and the number, of course, and simply follow that process again, top left hand corner, insert pivot table. Hope this has been helpful. Any questions, please let me know.